Hello everyone and welcome back to Dynamics Academy. This is yet another video in a feature a day video series. In this video series we will cover the new features that were released with Microsoft Dynamics 365 9.0 version. On your screen you are able to see the various new features that were released in 9.0 version of Dynamics 365. We will see each of these feature in detail per video in this series. And at the same time, we will also see the various deprecations that are going to happen with Dynamics 365 9.0 version release. So this series is going to be very much useful and informative. So let us now see the feature that we are going to cover in this video. In this video, we will see one of the major change or the major deprecation that has been announced with Microsoft Dynamics 365 version 9.0 is some of the client APIs are now deprecated. So in this video, we will see the brief overview or the detailed overview of what all the clients that has been deprecated and what will be the impact for the new change. My name is Abhishek Doria and I will be your host in this video. So let us now begin. First, we will see an overview about this change. Then we will see which are the major client APIs that have been deprecated and what will be the impact of them going ahead. And then I will show you a demo of what was happening before and now what will be the change that you need to follow. And at the end, we will also see the list of useful references as well if you want to dig deeper into this. So, as we know that some of the existing client APIs are now deprecated to reorganize the XRM client API object model to better align with the need of the using same client scripts without having to change them based on the context or the client where they are running. This change is done in order to meet the requirement of the new unified interface. So as the interface is completely changed and reorganized so the, some of the existing client-side APIs are also being deprecated. For example, xrm.page. So whenever you used to write any JavaScript, you used to use xrm.page. So that is one of the key API that you used, which is now deprecated in order to reorganize the xrm client API object model to better align with the need of using same client scripts without having to change them based on the context or the client which where they are running so going forward you should plan to use the new client api mentioned in the replacement client api column instead of deprecated one so i'll show you the list of client apis that are being deprecated and the corresponding replacements which you need to start using instead of the traditional client apis so the deprecated client API will continue to be available and supported until they are officially removed from a future major release. You can find the list of APIs that are being deprecated in this link. I will place this link in the description box as well. So let me now show you a demo of what will be the impact and which are the client APIs that are being deprecated. So the moment you click on that link, you will find will land on this page and here you can see the list of all the clients that are being deprecated you can see one of the most primarily used api was xrm.page which is now being replaced with form context you need to first get the form context and then you can start using the other controls of that particular api in the same way, xrm.page, xrm.page context, uh, xrm.page context.query string parameters. These are the whatever the APIs that you see on your left hand side of this column are all deprecated. And on the second column are the new APIs that you can use instead of the previous one because these are the replacement client APIs. 
at the same time you will be able to see the brief description as well how to use them so let me now show you the demo of one particular change so for example if you want to display the name in your javascript of one particular contact then what we need to do we were first getting the first name using xrm.page.get attribute first name.get value this was the method or this was the api that you use used to use in javascript code similar to that last name you will retrieve and you will write the log first name concatenated with last name with the help of a space but now what will be the change because since the xrm.page is now deprecated what now you need to use is you need to first get the form context by using the execution context parameter you can get the form context by using execution context dot get form context method then from the form context you will get the different attributes values so instead of the xrm dot page you can now simply replace xrm dot page with form context dot get attribute remaining syntax is as it is uh, example having said that these are the list of useful references that you can make use in case if you want to dig deeper into this topic i thank you for watching this video till the end so if you have learned something new out of this video then please like share and subscribe to dynamics academy and also press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update whenever we release a new video to our dynamics academy youtube channel and on that note i end this video and take your leave hope to see you all in the next video till then bye bye and take care and once again thank you for your time